to find the solution for the energy sector is of a great importance because this is something that we are going to need soon when these traditional sources of energy are going to be expired. I went to a conference when for the first time they show a new type of material that appears in the solar cell field. It is called perovskite. The problem with this cell presented at the conference was that you can make it only on glass. I changed the architecture and it was possible to make it uh, the cell directly on the flexible foil. And then the big interest in uh, our technology started. So I decided to start my company. At the beginning we start with renting some equipment and we wanted to uh, prepare the cells really fast and to take the cells and go to investors. Most of the meetings, when we were talking about this technology, people get really excited, but they were all the time talking and there was no decision, and in the end decision was, no, this is too early, no, this is too innovative. I was uh, working a lot in the lab, apart of going for many meetings. Sometimes it was really 20 hours a day and uh, we were exhausted, so only working and sleeping and working and sleeping. We had this moment that we were really upset and maybe disappointed because for us it was obvious that this technology is the future and it was so hard to get uh, investment and after one year we were continuing spending our own money to, to just uh, keep the lab running and our money started to shrink. And that was one difficult moment that we say, oh my God, we have to really now uh, find someone or we just are not able to do it anymore. Finally, we decided, okay, this is the moment that we throw a grenade and we go to mass media. Because the topic was quite hot, they really took our side and that was really important for us. It opened some doors. A lot of people start to uh, get in contact with us and this is how we get contact with our investor. After we get funded, we could expand our team, we could expand our labs and a few months later we show for the first time uh, the module that is based on this perovskite technology and you could put it under the lamp, artificial lamp, and charge your mobile device. And it was the first example that anybody showed of some useful application of this technology. And now we want to build the whole line and to have uh, bigger modules. With the Perusky, you can uh, just prepare an ink and you can print the solar cell. So now you can just imagine the cost of the production of the cells is much lower than the cost of the production of traditional cells, keeping the same level of efficiency. It might change the whole energy sector.